Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Yeah. We oh. all. <laughs> yes. Well, the final, the last um, session of the day. Yeah. The final part, the final podcast of the day. Uh, before we head to the closing ceremony. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves <laughs> for the, the three days, actually, not just today. Um, we actually have something quite interesting if we have students in the among our viewers right now this could be really interesting for you guys um we actually have with us um uh, some students from the yeah from the university of Mauritius. yes um computer club um let we want them to them them. in yeah let's let's bring yes. them let's bring them. hello hey. okay hello everybody hello how are you Hi. doing <laughs> You got, you you right. got the end. Hey. Yeah. yeah, the whole club. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, guys. Right. How you doing? Hey. Hello. Hello. Um, so this is actually, um, they are from the computer club. It's, um, I think, something new that is started. Actually, you know what? Um, why don't you guys tell us a bit yes. more? About, you tell us yeah. about it. Who you are? What well, is computer club? What is your club? Well, the computer club is one of, the oldest club at the University of Mauritius. Huh? The club was founded in, in 2010 by the students of the university. The aim of the club is to engage in working for the betterment of the students at the university. But in fact, the club will empower the students towards innovation for a better tomorrow. This helps to bridge the gap between the workplace and the students of the university. Also. So, it is to be highlighted that the club main key operation is to create the awareness of tech in all fields for the students who will choose. Thus, we have taken the challenge to provide the students a platform to develop their technical and soft skills that will later on help them in their work, work environment. Mm -hmm. During the past few years, the club has been active for the students. And uh, since then, we already uh, we have been doing some activities like uh, uh, so some coding competition, some basic competition, mm -hmm. and, and also the, the event that we organized was uh, a, web com a, a web competition in uh, 2000 and in 2000 and 2000, I think two years back, which okay. was fully funded by the Oracle. Uh, this was That's the, amazing. This was, yeah. This was the first step that we took uh, for our mega event. Okay. I think, okay. Uh, it was quite an adventure for us because uh, this was we were like only ten people in the organizing team. Then we had to do some arrangement, mm -hmm. uh, like to find sponsor, to find the services, and all. And, and also, when this was successful, the next year. Uh, we were used to do one mega event per year. Like uh, okay. the first one was a web competition. Then mm -hmm. we told the team, why not to go further? Like uh, the next, this year, 2020, we did mm -hmm. a, an app club. Like, yeah, I remember um, that. <laughs> yes, we just uh, provided <laughs> training for the students. And uh, the app club was the first of its kind at the university. I think it's a, we are the first club to organize such activity in okay. the creation of the faculty. I do not know if uh, before there was such a competition, but uh, since the faculty was... I don't... There were, there were smaller competitions, but... So, so uh, the Up Cup, we had mm -hmm. four major companies who were the sponsors, which MCB, Digital Factory, Huawei, and then SD Works, and also we had Delta, and uh, we had these four companies, which was a 
major sponsors. The participants were all from the University of Mauritius, okay. in which the students were given the opportunity to develop a mobile app which had about five, five SDGs. The club wanted the youngsters to show mm -hmm. their talents for such innovation for development of these apps. Mm -hmm. The computer club also uh, we also participated in some competition at international level where there was an there was a, a competition by UNESCO, the mm -hmm. web documentary competition in which we mm -hmm. participated the team from the club and then we came second uh, which was which the, thank you the film for the video was Fusion de l'IA et de la jeunesse Mauritian which showed the development of Mauritian youngsters in, in the AI field mm -hmm. hence we can say that the club is doing its best to meet the objectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, can I can I bother you for a second? Yeah. Um, how many members do you have right well, now? Members, we have around mm -hmm. two hundred members. All oh. students from the <laughs> University of Mauritius. That's awesome. We started, yeah, we started with only 10, 10 members two years ago. Oh, yeah. That's and, very uh, now impressive. We also, now we reach around two hundred members. You are your own small and community you. over there. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very good job. Next year, hopefully, we can reach many more, like 500 members, because mm -hmm. now the name of the club is is becoming a brand at the university. Mm -hmm. We can say it like that. Okay. And also, we aim, we aim on achieving more members, because I will be here for one more year. We also face many problem when organizing this like that's also one of the for the app cup and also there are many problems like uh, the effort that we need uh, and the sponsorship was one of the mm -hmm. major problems we faced. At first we did not really know the procedures how to get the sponsors yeah, um, so you, you did mention that you are constantly working on some events. Um, you mentioned mm -hmm. the App Cup and the previous ones. Um, so do you have anything upcoming in the near future, or maybe for next year, um, as part of Computer uh, Club? Yes, we, we also have, uh, like I told, like uh, we do one mega event per year. Last exactly. year was a web. This year it was an app competition. So yes. our mega event for next year, we are planning to do an app cup, but now at international, at, uh, sorry, at, at national level, national which will level. gather mm -hmm. all universities, like an, oh, wow. an inter-university app cup. It's going to be a so showdown. Yes, uh, okay. because we already did it for the university students. Now, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, for the UOM students. So why not to give the opportunities for to everyone for other students to come and, and join it? Like uh, like this year we are aiming and uh, sorry next year for the mega event we mm -hmm. we will do an app cup which will compromise of five categories like the AI for a web app even gaming. And uh, also AI, gaming, web app, the IoT, and also, and also like we can do FinTech also, which is four, five categories. Yes. And then there will be one app top window because right. app is, is huge. Yeah. Everything is an app. We need yeah. to mm -hmm. stop categorize it. Like yeah, the AI, true. FinTech, if a if a student wants to do gaming, he can do it. It's an app. If he wants to do like a robotics, he needs an app for it. It's considered an app. He can participate in in it. And also like uh, one more project like, like uh, we wanted to implement this year 
is 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 a small garden. Like at the University of Mauritius form. Yeah, you have so, the UM form, true. It's it's a nice playground to test this kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> like uh, we, we told to us we are here for tech. Why not yeah. to implement uh, tech in the agricultural field and to help the youngsters to know the importance of mm -hmm. the agriculture? Like uh, yeah. during the COVID-19, we understood one thing. People can live without computers, but not <laughs> without food. And it's during the COVID like uh, the, the people knew it. Nowadays, it's considered a shame for youngsters to go for farming. So why not to do a, like a smart farming in, yeah. in, in agriculture? Yes, yes smart farming. Mm -hmm. Like one of the aim for it, uh, like we are planning to do it, like uh, if we if we want to to plant a let's say a small plant like uh, we will we will monitor it for 30 days then mm -hmm. next time based on this data we will try to know if we can and uh, in, uh, more in, in uh, if we can harvest in less than yeah if we can harvest in less than 30 days, if we mm -hmm. can uh, reduce uh, nutrient, if uh, the plant needs more water, uh, we have decided to take up this challenge. We know it, it's a bit difficult because uh, I know some projects, they tried to do it, but uh, did not succeed. It's but, hard, uh, yeah. yeah. But uh, why not give it a try? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a very true. interesting project, actually, because I think I read quite a lot of people are interested in that. Yeah, there is there is a growing interest mm -hmm. in IoT and agriculture. They go pair in pair, and actually, there are, like you mentioned, there are quite a few projects even at at student level, uh, Marine. Yeah. So there are a lot of students who try to build prototypes of what a mm -hmm. smart farm would look like but they they never really were able to equate you know the cost of implementation with the gains that with, you know yeah. it's 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 there the business value is lost but mm -hmm. the actual implementation some of them were really impressive but the actual implementation in real world that's yeah where it it's a bit tough, tough. um but so yeah, yeah lavnish um this was a great intro to, to the Computer Club. Um, your, your, the past events were awesome. I mean, I was personally involved in the App Cup. Um, I, I worked with the students. I had a look uh, at, at um, what kind of projects were coming out of it, and they did produce some amazing stuff. They were using Flutter mm -hmm. stuff that people present in Virtual Developers Conference, so they are embracing oh. the new tech. Yeah, um, we look forward to see what next year is going to be like, what you guys can, can bring. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah. of course, we are always going to have the developers conference. So it might be a good idea to bring your prototype over and have a yeah, session. Yeah, you guys should totally join us. Um, yes, we should join you. I'm going to leave the name of the club so that they can find yeah. you. I think Maybe we put it in the chat. Easily. That way it's um, easier. So... Um, on our side, thank you for joining us, Davnish, um, and, and showing us a bit about what's happening on the other side with the students, mm -hmm. because thank eventually so they are the ones that, that's going to join, <laughs> that's going to join the community <laughs> here. So um, with that, uh, you took the time to join this session. Thank you for being here. Um, we are going to, we are going to wrap up. So um, any final comments before we, we, we finalize this podcast? Thank you for giving us the opportunity to share our past project and future projects and also yes. to give the, the students the opportunity mm -hmm. to participate in this competition like uh, the companies may have it for so yeah. and uh, thank you mm -hmm. very much thank, thank you yeah. so much thank you. good luck in right. ev with everything yeah. Bye. Thank you. Next year. Bye. So, hey, hey Marie, final lap.
Lost Stretch final sprint before we reach oh the. Oh my the god! Um, I yeah, think actually, it's already here. Yeah, Sorry. actually, it's, uh, um, it's it's a, a bit unfortunate that there were some connection issues, but uh, mm. and also that we don't have a physical conference for maybe as well this year because they could have shown the prototypes. Um, yeah. But yeah. They've been trying to build a community on their side at UOM to um, mm -hmm. to get students and the corporate world uh, and other communities like MSCC to basically try to link them. Um, okay. Yeah, we we'll just see where this goes and awesome. yeah, it's looking promising already. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is it. Our final hours. Yeah, our final minutes actually. <laughs> Yes, like, it is. Mm -hmm. Marine, how was the day gone for you? <laughs> it was really nice. It was, yeah, it was an experience. I must Did admit, okay, <laughs> I maybe like um, the physical conference a little bit more. But <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. That is true. That, I mean, that I don't think you can compare the virtual yeah. and the physical. They are the virtual is nice and in its own way um, mm -hmm. that we are live. We have so many people easily just joining in, having a look at a few sessions. But the physical one has its own appeal, where you get to meet all yeah, these, you, you know, like yeah, network, connect with people. Um, you, you know how many fellow geeks I meet them only at conferences. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing out on this. I should I should be meeting them right now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's okay. We we are supporting Earth while it's updating, like we said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got your back. Next year we're gonna be back. Yeah, next year we're gonna be back, and hopefully this time it's it's planned to be a physical conference. But um, we'll okay. see. Okay. I stopped doing predictions on my side. So <laughs> maybe someone can go like an AI or <laughs> to do this kind so of prediction can. for us. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but yeah, did you have fun? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Um, the virtual, the, the the conference, not virtual, but the conferences in general. The, it's it's usually a really great place to learn about things that um, you don't encounter every day. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's kind of how you you get to see how other people are using tech, um, what are they doing, and you get to incorporate that and. Yeah, it's it help it helps you grow and it helps you connect with people. It's fun. Mm -hmm. You get to you know you get to do your sessions. Um, it's awesome. I love it. It's an experience. Yeah. It's an experience. Plus we hosted <laughs> this year, so <laughs> yes, that's a like... it's a plus one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I guess we can conclude today's new Asgard stream. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the closing ceremony is going to be in the Bat it's Cave. Be, it's going to be in the Bat Cave. Had a great time on New Asgard. Mm -hmm. Awesome job, guys. Hope to see you next year. Thank you, Percy. We had a great time Thank as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Everyone, yeah, for being here and and chatting with us. Um, yeah, and keeping us it. company and keeping us like hyped. <laughs> <laughs> So we are gonna we are gonna conclude um, New Asgard for today and for this year, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we will see you guys in fifteen seventeen minutes. Um, so at five p.m. in in, in the Bat Cave, Bat Cave for the yeah. closing ceremony. I hear okay. there are good things that are gonna gonna be announced in there. Yeah. But oh, tons of surprises! <laughs> so let's see. Don't forget I to join to us. Be a mental drum roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, see you there. All right. Cheers. Cheers.